This notebook presents how to deal with common machine learning problem, imbalanced datasets. It's a very popular scenario when target labels are not equally distributed. Real-world examples very often relate to medical or financial cases. So the plan is as follows. We are going to see what is a so-called accuracy paradox problem and then try to tell the algorithm what samples to focus on in both manual and automatic way. But first, let's remind what are some general advices when the data is imbalanced. If possible, you should collect or artificially generate more samples from minority class. There are some algorithms like SMOD or under oversampling techniques. It is also very important to use a metric that represents a true quality of the obtained results. Particularly in XGBoost, you should make sure that the mean child weight parameter is set to a small value and try to initialize specific weights to instances during training. Here, we will concentrate on the latter one. Before digging in, spend a couple of seconds to prepare the environment, load required libraries, then generate a classification dataset containing 200 samples. To make it imbalanced, set weights parameters. In this case, we are leaving 10% of data as the positive examples. Finally, divide it even further by creating train and test subsets. In the first approach, we will completely ignore the fact that there is uneven class distribution. Initialize train and test the matrices and specify a dictionary holding classifier parameters. We will train 15 decision tree stamps aggressively and obtain predictions on the test dataset. Then, generate a confusion matrix to evaluate the performance. You see that there are 66 samples. 59 are negative and 7 positive. All negatives and only 3 out of 7 positive cases were correctly classified. We can also introduce 3 popular metrics to see how they describe this scenario. Accuracy, precision, which is the ability not to label as positive a sample that is negative, and the recall, which measures how good we are in finding all positive samples. By looking at the accuracy, we obtained almost 94%, which is a very good score. But after a little deeper investigation, you see that minority class is performing very poorly. Recall less than 0.5 makes the classifier pretty useless. This scenario is called the accuracy paradox. Let's try to improve its performance by manually marking each instance with a weight. Assume that each positive sample will be 5 times more important than the negative one. To do so, create an array and assign either 1 or 5 for each instance. Then initialize the matrices again, but this time with additional weights argument. Retrain the classifiers using the same parameters as before, obtain predictions and visualize the confusion matrix. There is some difference. This time we are doing better with positive classes, leaving only two samples misclassified. But the trade-off is made by having worse performance with majority class. You see that the overall accuracy dropped by 8%, precision by 58, but the recall score is 28% greater. You should experiment several times, setting different weights for samples and analyze the obtained results, or use the scale pause weight argument to automate the process. First, get rid of the previously assigned weights by reinitializing the matrices. Then, we are adding scale pause weight property and setting its value to the proportion between negative and positive instances. Like in previous example, retrain the classifier and analyze the confusion matrix. In this case, we managed to correctly predict all positive examples. There are still some mistakes, 8 false positive. But usually, this type of error is much less costly than false negatives. Summarizing, you have seen how you can tackle the imbalanced data problem with setting weights in XGBoost package. Remember that the most important thing is to have some sort of metric 
that will evaluate the results in an objective way.